What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Joe from Petty Fixes. So I have another video for you all today and I've been getting a lot of questions because my video footage has improved and I'm pretty happy about that. So people have been questioning me what I've been using to record my videos as of late. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you guys exactly what I've done to upgrade my setup as far as video recording and I'm gonna let you guys on a few little secrets of how I get my videos to look the way they look. Stay tuned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over my new camera gear and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna break it all down. I'm gonna go piece by piece as to what exactly everything is. I'm gonna show you what I was recording on at first. I'm gonna assemble it all and show you exactly what my full setup looks like. Let's go. Okay, so I'm recording with my new camera right now. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I switch, but this is what I was using at first. This is the Canon EOS M3. Now, this has been a good little camera for me. Um, it did its job. I actually got it on sale for a pretty good deal. So that's the reason I picked this up. Um, I picked up a Viltrox lens adapter, an EF to EF, EOS M adapter. And that's what this is right here. Um, this is a 50 millimeter lens from Yong Nuo. And it's actually surprisingly good. I really enjoy shooting with it. A lot of my old videos you'll see, I actually have um, some really great depth of field shots and I still use this camera to take some pictures and everything because I don't have new lenses yet for my new camera but this lens and this setup right here has actually done me well this right here is what I was using initially this is the kit lens that came with the uh, Canon EOS M3 it's a pretty good kit lens I mean it's nothing fancy you know it's just mainly um, an 18 to 55 millimeter lens and you know it's a f3.5, you know, to f whatever lens. It's got stabilization in it also. So yeah, I really did enjoy shooting with this camera. Um, it's a pretty good camera, like I said, but it's starting to show its age. It's about four years old now, five years old. I've been having it since, since like the middle of my YouTube career and it started to show its age. So this, this tax season, I went and got me something nice. My girlfriend looked out for me and I'm gonna switch to this camera and record with this lens not this one but this lens because it'll kind of give you the you know the same kind of feel as to how I'm recording because I'm recording on this camera with the kit lens so I'm going to record the kit lens on this camera I'm going to switch over in one two three okay so now I'm recording with the Canon EOS M3 and this is my new setup right here this is the Sony a6100 so it's a newer camera now, I didn't go with the 64 or the 6600, mainly because they were out of my budget. But I did notice that, you know, going with those, I did get quite a few features like color profiles, but I didn't really care for color profiles since I already edit inside of, um, I already do my post, you know, my color grading and stuff, you know, post, post, uh, post shooting and stuff. So I'd rather just get the 6100 because it didn't really add much features going with the upper, the upper levels or whatever. But um, this camera solves a lot of problems that I was having with this particular Canon camera, mainly the focusing. This 6100 focus is so fast. I mean, and it does not lose focus for anything, for nothing. Now, another thing I did was I added a cage. I added a small rig cage for the A6000. The A6000 works just as well as any other one, so I decided to go with that. I also added a handle, as you can see. I added a couple of um, cold shoe plates and um, there's one right there and it also came built in with one so there's a cold shoe plate right there as well and then I added this little wood handle now all these things add up to a really really versatile really really versatile camera little setup um, I plan on doing a lot of videography later on and also taking pictures you know starting up a photography business and this camera takes much better pictures than my old Canon camera does so also with this camera I got a viewfinder which I love and I also got another flip up screen another tilt screen uh, the screen is really really bright really really sharp this actually tilts up which was a flaw in the last few you know Sony cameras because they didn't have this feature so with that said guys that's that's it now I can break it all down, but man, it takes a long time to put back together and stuff, but you get the gist, you know, but this is what I use. 
this is what I use lately to record my videos. Also, I do record in 24 frames a second. So, this records in 1080p 120. So for those awesome slow motion shots, I can get that with this. With the Canon camera, I had to do a lot of fidgeting around the software, you know, post edit to, to do all this stuff. So with this camera, it just does it. It's, it's great, I love it. I do thank my girlfriend a lot for, you know, hooking me up and this is gonna help take my channel to the next level. All right, so we're back on the A6100. Here's the setup and everything. Excuse some of the stuff that's on the desk. But y'all been cleaning this stuff, you know, the whole um, sickness thing around the world that's going on. Wanna stay safe. So how does my lighting look? You guys wonder how my lighting looks. What do I use to brighten my videos up and have proper lighting to record in proper and optimal settings? Well, one, I use, you know, stuff that I have around the house. Um, I am missing a bulb, but I took it out on purpose because I feel like it added too much, um, <clears throat> too much harsh lighting. And you can clearly see it if I hook that bulb back up or I screw it back in. Um, typically, I use this whenever I'm shooting B-roll. I usually turn it off when I don't do B-roll. And it's just me doing talking head videos. Um, so it's usually dark in here. So if I turn it off, you can see it's pretty dark in here. And that's how I get that, that darker background. But you see there's still a lighting source. So what's that lighting source? The lighting source is this. Let me turn the light back on so y'all can kind of see it better. Um, this is my um, softbox. This is from newer and you know, excuse the kid toys and stuff, but this is from newer. I have three of these lights, but I only use one. This one is more than bright enough, more than bright enough for what I need in this little area. I actually record in my dining room. Um, you guys don't know that, but I actually record in my dining room because I have nowhere else to record at. And my girlfriend said, you know, she looked out for me and told me, you know, we could take out the table, you know, you can use it as your little area. Thank God for my girlfriend, she's a lifesaver. But this is my lighting. This really is all I use. I don't use nothing else. Just these two lights right here. Um, if I have to bring out an extra one, I do have an extra one. I don't have a big soft box on it, but I have this, this little extra one right here. And this is an RGB bulb inside of it. I don't use a soft box, I just use the umbrella. The umbrella distributes the light a lot more, if you ask me, but this sits lower and I kind of put it at an angle above my face. And that's really it guys. So let's get back to talking about some more stuff. So when it comes to panning and doing like glide shots and side to side zooms and stuff like that, all the little cool little B-roll effects, this is what I use. So this is a Manfrotto fluid head uh, mount for my camera. It came with like a little plate and everything. The plate's still attached to my camera. Um, it's, it's been a lifesaver, man. Like it's so quick to just swap in, swap out your different brackets and you know, put, just take your camera out of here and do some running gun shooting if you need to, like I'm doing right now. Um, so this was about 90 bucks. <clears throat> I put a link to the description and everything that I listed so far, by the way. So I used this on top of the Zecti slider. The Zecti slider is like amazing. It's a small slider. I don't got a lot of space to work with, so I got a small one. Um, it has all the appropriate um, knobs and levers that you need. So this one right here pretty loosens it up so that I can slide back and forth, basically. Um, all kinds of stuff. It has a level on it, you know. Um, let me see what else. It has adjustable feet. So, you know, you can actually take these off or you can adjust them as high as you want to. So it has four of them on there. It has um, screw mounts to where if you want to screw something else in, like you say, you know, you don't want your microphone way up here, you want it on the side, or something like that. You can put it up there. Um, it has that on both sides actually, and this thing actually came with a. If you can see it, this thing right here, go on this side. It came with this, so this is a ball head mount, and this ball head mount has all the proper, you know, knobs and everything on it to to lock the, the rotation, to actually like, you know, loosen this up. And if I loosen this up, this whole thing can start to tilt back and forth, you know, typical ball head stuff. So but that's what I use to actually like mount my camera onto things and to get my, my smooth B-roll. And this, the, the most valuable thing I could think of, man, has to be this Manfrotto ball head mount, this um, fluid head mount. It's like so smooth when it comes to operating and you can adjust it as far as you want to. I mean, it has so much stuff 
with this little thing and it was about a hundred bucks 90 bucks 100 bucks or so but like i said i'm gonna list everything in the description that i use to record my videos including you know the, the cage the camera everything i use so that's it guys let's go well guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i can hope i gave you a little insight on how i get my stuff done in this little area that i do work in and how i make it look the way it look and wet camera gear i do use if you guys like what i do drop me a like subscribe to the channel if you're new to this channel go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell it helps you know when i upload new content but that's it guys i'm almost approaching a thousand viewers a thousand subscribers so when i get to a thousand subscribers i'm going to actually be doing a giveaway i have a lot of things to give away brand new stuff not used stuff so i have a lot of things to give away and i like to give it out to one of my fellow subscribers who's been there with me you know through this whole journey so i thank you guys all your support means a whole lot to me so that's it guys i'm joe from petty fixes we're gonna cut this video out see y'all in the next one